Are you looking for an easy way to get green batteries? Well, friends, my name is Rengar. I've got you covered. Let's jump right in. So a green battery spawns a swipe were absolutely just disgustingly rare. I only seen one the entire wipe. I have over a thousand raids and only have seen one. I had to buy all mine for rest space three. You need five of them for rest space three, and I think they're 1.2 mil a piece right now. But luckily, BSG just added a brand new craft to the workbench which allows us to craft the green lithium batteries so we can actually make all of them for a hideout instead of having to go ahead and just hunt for them or dish out a bunch of cash. Now, I don't know if this is going to be required by Workbench 2 or Workbench 3 because I do have max hideout time making this video, so I can't tell. Um, however, in Workbench 3, you can craft these batteries and they take around five hours a piece to craft, which isn't too bad. You can have them all crafted in around the day. And getting the mats is actually pretty easy. They have risen in price quite a bit, but they're not too hard to find. The first thing is you need one round flyer, you're going to need one USB adapter, you need two rec batteries, and you need three portable power banks. Now, again, thank God that they added this craft because they were just so expensive on the market. And if you already have your batteries, make sure you're looting these anyway because these will be tons of money on the market. I had to, I sold some round pliers over today for 50k a piece, which is crazy. Now, I'm going to show you guys where all these items spawn. They're really easy to find. Pretty much any industrial area, you can find all of these. Let me break uh, down exactly where I think the best spots to find them are. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of spawns and interchange where you can get your items for your crafts. Now, they all can actually spawn here fairly commonly. Uh, the round pliers are going to be referred to as industrial loot, so they can be inside of toolboxes and industrial spawns and technical crates. And then the power banks, the USB A's, and the rec batteries are all considered like tech spawns. Now, rec batteries are fairly common inside of tech stores as well as filing cabinets. Same thing goes with power banks, filing cabinets, and. Uh, tech stores as well and then usbas are pretty much the same thing as well they're all filing cabinets and tech stores and if you can't actually get your rec batteries you can craft one power bank and you can craft uh one flat screwdriver into two rechargeable batteries and you can use that for the craft as well or buy any items that you're missing as well but starting off in the power station in the back room there are two tech spawns you see a gas stand and, and a lcd here that will spawn tech stuff right there so you can get any of your items right here and then you also have three toolboxes you have one two and three for your tech spawns. If you come outside of the power station, you can head over this way. And in this area is actually a tool crate that's kind of hidden over here. If you go through this little area and go to my left, there's a toolbox right here, which you can loot for more uh, round pliers. And then this way as well, you can come out of the fence and go to the left. And there's a stash here, which could also have um, any of your items that you need. Stash loot is pretty much anything in the game, which you'll see is located right there for you to loot. Now. If you already have your green batteries, this would actually be a really good route to make money because already this is a route I used to use to make money back when I wanted to avoid players. And it's really not bad for making money, but now with the fact that round pliers are 50k and USBAs are 30k and like everything's going up in price, like if you find a toolbox with two round pliers, it used to be kind of junk before. And now you made 100k if you find that. So it's actually a really good method to help you make some money. Now, if you come into the back of Goshan right here, to my left is a wall of shelves. And pretty much all along these shelves can be various technical loot. Uh, you get tool... Yeah, I see I have thermite here. I can get round pliers. I can get regular pliers, etc. And then over here, once I loot that back wall, I come over here. There's a duffel bag right here that you can loot. You can have any of your items in there. And then over to my right over here, there is a toolbox, which can also have more of your round pliers. Now, once you loot all that, you can head back down this way. And we're going to pretty much run all the way along the back wall. Now, this shelf, again, can have more tech stuff. You see that there is a tape measure there. There's a fire claim right there. And over on these shelves can spawn stuff as well. So make sure you have your eyes out. There's a toolbox right there. There is a duffel bag right there. Again, this can have any of the four items in it. And then you also can get just various junk spawning around here that might be useful for your crafting. Now, if you want to loot this for a loot route, you can loot these weapon crates over here if you want to with some attachment spawns right there. Uh, was a weapon crate right over here that you can loot. And then coming down this way, you can go ahead and loot this toolbox there. And these back shelves now is what's going to have your random tools on it, as well as these shelves as well. You see that I have uh, pliers there. And over on this set of boxes, I actually can go ahead and loot this for uh, more plier spawns, pretty much. Now, these shelves, as well as these shelves, all can have your round pliers. And then you see I got a hand drill here. Is a more spawns. Pretty much any of these like white shelves like this in the back area can spawn this stuff. And then there's a toolbox going to be located right there. Now once you look at this, that's pretty much the whole back area of this part. There is uh, a weapons crate that's back over here that you can loot if you're doing a loot run. If you want to go ahead and like loot stuff over here, you're more than welcome to. But I'm going to go past it for now. Now, once you come back here, it's going to be the back of the Ali store. Now, 
In the back of Ollie, there are tons of industrial spawns. If you're doing a loot run, you actually can walk back through this way. And this is the back computer rooms. You actually can go through and you can loot these. The uh, PCs have spawning GPUs again, as well as everything inside of it is worth money. So you can come in here, you can loot all these PCs, as well as you can come in here and you can loot all of these PCs and then continue on the normal route that I'm showing right now. Now, once you come through here, there's a toolbox that's going to be right here that you can loot, as well as this back shelf, kind of random, uh, random tools, as well as you see a keck tape there. And there are other tool spawns right there at the Plex. And then all of these white shelves can spawn car batters if you need those for your quests, which is good to know. And all these shelves can have um, your round pliers as well. Now, there's a toolbox right here that you can loot for your, your round pliers, as well as these shelves can spawn tools as well. Uh, well, you can come through all here. Make sure you just look at all these shelves with WD-40 right there. That could be your pliers. They could be down there as well. And then also on the shelves right here. And then also right here. You see got a motor right here. Pretty much all right here. Uh, to my right as well. And then even down these aisles, believe it or not, you can get stuff right here. Just make sure you're looking around for your pliers as well as they can spawn back here. You can also get fuel there pretty commonly as well as motors. These back shelves to my left can spawn car batteries. So be on the lookout for that if you need them for your quest. And then once you come back through this way... You can get more spawns for industrial items right on this top shelf right here. So it's an alkali right there. And then if I come back over here, same deal. I can get tech uh, industrial spawns here as well as on these shelves. And then I got another toolbox right here with more industrial spawns right there. Now, once I come through this way, all of these shelves. So these right here, these, that, these, these can all kind of different tech stuff. Or sorry, different uh, industrial stuff. Like it's a flex right there. And then these shelves have a ton of industrial spawns. And then they have fuels, water filters um anything that you really need right here is so this whole shelving area make sure that you walk through take a look and see if anything spawns over here you can even get stuff to spawn actually on top of this shelf right here so make sure you like bring your face up there so you get a white dot and there's actually like a hidden shelf back here which is this shelf and i've signed a lot of water filters and fuel back here you see right here i have a uh, pack of screws but that could be your pliers right there now once you loot all of this you can actually head up through to the front of ollie and you see i got a water filter right here there make sure you look on all these shelves there are more pcs here as well if you want to loot these for money and then you can come through and make sure you loot this. I've seen uh, pliers here for sure, and I've seen them here as well. Now, these front shelves can spawn propane tanks. I haven't really seen pliers on them, but I'm sure they can spawn here. Propane tanks spawn up here. Make sure you check these if you just walk by if you have the uh, the chance to. And there's actually some U-shaped shelves, uh, shelves over here, which are notorious for running gas analyzers. Over here, you can definitely have a chance to get your pliers and maybe a corrugated hose and silicon tubes. Uh, definitely have a chance to get your items here, though, so you got a corrugated hose right there. Make sure you check all this. And then I've also seen flyers spawn on, like, this big shelf where you see this hose. And then I've also seen it on that shelf as well. So make sure you're just checking all of this for your best chance to get your items. And if you are stuck on your rack batteries, your power banks, etc., there are so many tech stores interchange. You can go over here to Texo, which is right in front of Ollie. Or you can go up to Tech Light, which is up the escalator. Or you can go to Rasmussen. Or even German. So if you don't know, Texas right here. Pretty much any of this area can spawn your uh, power cords. I mean, sorry, not your power cords, your power banks. All that stuff that you would need to craft. Even your USB-As are pretty common. People might leave them behind right now because they don't realize how important they are for crafting. Same thing up here. You can get a tech light and you can loot this whole area all the way up there. All the shelves can spawn stuff that you would need for your crafting. And then if we go down this hallway towards Rasmussen, it's the same deal. Tech store can spawn any of your things, wreck, battery, power bank, etc. Um, these are pretty high contested areas because they can spawn GPUs. So make sure that you're on the lookout if you are coming here and become nighttime for a better chance to survive. But just be on the lookout for your items. And then you can also come through this way and um, go all the way down this hallway and across the middle of the mall, to my right, is going to be a store called German. Now, German is another tech store which I can go into, and I can loot all of this area looking for, same thing, power banks, USBs. I see a lot of USB-As in this store particularly, so maybe you'll find some of yours here. You see I got one right here, so I can use that for my crafting right there. I could put that in my container, and that would be the one USB-A that I need to craft one battery. And then if I go down this way even further, this store right here is called TTS, and TTS can have my stuff as where you see it's called TTS right there. You can go in there, and inside there is toolboxes as well as a duffel bag, and then there are more tech spawns in there as well for your uh, power banks, etc. And if I come this way towards National, there's actually a lot of filing cabinets in National. Remember I said rack batteries and power banks can be in there. So you can come through to National back over here and you can loot all of these filing cabinets. See, there's even industrial spawns right there. So I can loot all these. That's uh, 4, 8, 12. And then there's actually some over here, which is 16 filing cabinets in total. 
and I believe there's industrial spawn right here as well, yeah, where this uh, metal scissors are. So that is pretty much uh, most of interchange. If you can't find your power bank or your, I don't know, your rec batteries, again, filing cabinets to your friend, go to the bunkers of reserve. There's like 30,000 filing cabinets from reserve. You can go there for that. You can break it up. But this will gives you a chance to get everything that you need. And if it's contested, you can go to reserve. I've seen power banks a lot on shoreline in the industrial rooms, like on first floor. Pretty much any of the shelves on first floor can have industrial spawns as well. So hopefully that's helpful, guys. Guys, that was the guide. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to check out my channel. I have tons of videos like this uh, helping you play solo, helping you farm rogues, helping you progress fast. We have leveling series going on right now, going 1 to 40, showing exactly how I do it. If you enjoy that, hit the like button, comment down below, hit the sub button, hit the bell. I will see you guys next time. If you want to come by the stream to ask any questions, I'm always around. I will catch you guys next time.